we should uh, prevent the uh, pointless arms race and lethal Thomas weapons. We should make sure that the uh, great wealth that will be produced by AI helps make everybody better off. And we should invest heavily in technical AI safety research. Let me just elaborate a little bit th on those three. So arms race, well, any s science can be used to help people or harm people. Uh, but we're on the cusp of starting an arms race. There was a big meeting in Geneva just the other week, just kind of a diplomatic flop. And uh, if, if this really gets going, there's going to be much more money in the military AI sector than the civilian, and we're going to look back with nostalgia at the nuclear arms race. Uh, so that I hope we can avoid. Uh, <laughs> second, uh, for, for the money part, again, obviously there's an en enormous potential to grow the overall economic pie if machines can produce all the goods and services we need. And if we can't figure out a way as a society to make sure that everybody gets better off from this, you know, shame on us. Third. AI safety research. So it's easy to say, oh, let's figure out how to make machines understand our goals, adopt them, and retain them. But it's actually really hard. If you tell your future self-driving car to take you to Logan as fast as possible, and you get there covered in vomit and chased by helicopters, and you say, no, 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 that's not what I asked for. And it says, that's exactly what you asked for. <laughs> then you've understood how hard it is to get yeah. machines to really understand what you want. right? And similarly, and raise your hand if you have kids. Yeah, you, then you know how big the difference is between getting these intelligent beings to understand what you want and do what you want. <laughs> and third, <laughs> retaining our goals. If, if you have machines that can improve themselves, you know, my kids were super excited about Legos when they were little. Now, and when they're teenagers, you know, not so much. So if we manage to build machines that are very keen on helping humanity, we don't want them to get as bored with that goal when they get smarter as my kids got with Legos.